Well, hi there. In this video tutorial, I'm going to go over how to do some simple drawing using Adobe Animate. So clicking on our launch pad, we're going to click on Adobe Animate CC 2018. What you're going to find is this program is fairly similar to Photoshop that we've been playing with, but now we're dealing with vector graphics. So these are handy for when we're going to animate. And yeah, the project for today is really simple. We are going to draw a robot. So once Animate opens up, we'll look here. We want to create a new file, and you have lots of options here. Let's just click on Action Script 3. Once we do that, we'll get a nice fresh new page here. A couple things. Uh, we want to organize this as we're animating. So right away, I'm going to click on Essentials in the top right hand corner. I'm going to make sure to click on Animator. I'm going to animate my robot eventually. As you see here, we have our tools here. This is our timeline when we start animating. We'll get our properties every time we click on a different tool. We'll see our properties on the right hand side. Right off the bat, I want to make sure that this is going to be proper sizing. So I'm going to change my size here to 1920 by 1080. And I want this to be 30 frames per second. I'm going to zoom out so I can see everything. When I click on the hand, I can move my stage around. So this is where I'm going to be drawing my robot. First thing my robot needs is a head. I'm going to click on the rectangle tool. In my properties here, I can choose some colors, whatever colors I like. Uh, I don't know, I kind of like purple. And I can choose the edge. So right now it doesn't have an edge. So right now I don't have an edge. So I'm going to make sure that I have an edge. I can make it a little bit bigger. I just want a straight edge. So I'm going to click and draw out a robot head. Perfect. It needs some eyes. So for this, uh, let's just try a different tool. I'm going to choose the pencil tool. And I'm going to choose a yellow color. When you choose the pencil tool, you get options over here as well. If I click here, I can do a straight pencil, smooth, or ink. I want straight. So I'm going to click and just start drawing some eyes. Ooh, that, those aren't very straight. But Flash will, sorry, Adobe Animate will correct that for me. There we go. I'm going to draw a mouth too. A handy tool to tweak edges and corners is our selection tool. So if I click on this, watch what happens when I get close to an eye. I get this kind of right angle symbol. I can click and drag down. I can click and drag down. No, oh, robot looks a little bit unhappy. I want, if I go to the middle of a line, I'll get a curved icon. I can click and drag down. So now robot looks a little bit happier than it did before. Robot needs a body. So I'm going to, again, go back to a black edge. And I'm going to draw a little body for the robot. Like so. Need some arms. So this time I'm going to use the rectangle primitive tool. And down here I can change the roundness. So I'm going to unclick here. I'm going to choose 20 here. 20 on the left side. Press enter. And when I draw out the arm, it's going to have a bit of a circular rounded edge. I can move it with the selection tool. I can move it to where I want it. I want another arm on this side. So there's a couple ways of doing this. I could right click on it and copy. I could right click and paste it in place. Now I've pasted in another arm here, but I need to rotate it around. So this is where this tool comes in handy. Our free transform tool is very important when we're animating. I'm going to click on the free transform tool. I'm going to go to an edge until I get that, sorry, the corner. I'm going to get that half arrow, circle, I'm going to turn it around. Perfect. And now my arms look like this. My robot needs some hands. This is where I like the oval primitive tool. Here I can choose the start angle and the end angle and the inner radius of my circle. So if I click and drag down, I don't really like how that looks like. I can make this a little bit longer. 
and I'm going to rotate my hand around. I want to give it these kind of like claw-like hands. I can make them a bit smaller, like so. Boom. Now I want to make another one. I can hit Edit Copy as well, Edit Paste in the center. Move it over here. And again, with my Free Transform tool, I can rotate it around and I can attach it to this arm here. Like so. Great. So I've drawn the robot. Uh, now what I want to do is, it's kind of plain, it's in a white background. I want to add a background. So just like in Photoshop, we want to use layers to stay organized here. So I'm going to double click on this layer. This is where my robot is. I'm going to say robot. I'm going to create a new layer. Double click here and call this sky. So I'm going to choose my rectangle tool, maybe choose a blue sky with no edge. And now I'm going to start here in the top left hand corner and drag down a nice beautiful sky. Don't want any white. It's okay if I go past the stage. That's things that aren't in the stage won't appear in my film. Now my robot's gone. That's because I have to change how they're arranged. So I'm going to drag my robot layer underneath or above the sky. Now I can see my robot. Perfect. Now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some stars in the night sky, in the, in the sky. So I'm going to click on a new layer, double click this, call this stars. So I'm going to go over to my poly star tool now I'm going to click on Options. Under Options, I'm going to choose Star. I want seven-sided. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so it's kind of a funky star. Choose yellow, and I'm just going to draw a few stars. Like that. Perfect. So now that we've made our robot, uh, in the next tutorial we're going to go over how to start animating our robot. Thank you for watching.